this book, sissy? No, I want to read it. Me. No, me. No, me. I'd love to read the book to both of you. Oh, hey, everybody. It's my good friend, Tommy DePella. Hi, Mr. DePella. Hi, everybody. Please, call me Tommy. Okay. Oh, Tommy wrote the book BJ and Baby Bob Want to Read. That's right, Barney, and I drew the pictures, too. Oh, would you read your book to us, Mr. DePella? Sure, BJ. It's a story about me when I was a little boy about your age. Oh, cool. It's called... The Baby Sister. Oh, goody. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> What's the matter, BJ? Oh, I'm just having a little trouble with sissy, Tommy. Well, you know, BJ, it can be really nice to have a little sister. Just listen. Oh, I want to get my blankie. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy had a mother, a father, two grandmothers, one grandfather, lots of aunts and uncles, an older brother, Buddy, and a dog named Tootsie. <laughs> and lots and lots of cousins. Wow. So when Tommy's mother told him that she was going to have a baby, Tommy said, can I have a baby sister with a red ribbon in her hair? <laughs> we'll see, his mother told him. Can I do something for the baby's room, Tommy asked his mother. I want to paint a picture for the wall. Of course you can, his mother said. And see, here's me when I was a little boy, painting pictures for the baby's room. Oh, oh. look. <laughs> well, those are pretty pictures. <laughs> what happened next? <laughs> As the months passed, Tommy's mother's tummy grew bigger and bigger. Wow. The baby's in there, she told Tommy, pointing to her tummy. Tommy leaned his head against her. Hi, baby, he whispered. <laughs> that night, when Tommy and Buddy were asleep, their mother told their dad that it was time to go to the hospital. Don't forget to wake up Tommy when you get home, Joe, and tell him if he has a new baby sister or a baby brother. I won't forget, Floss, I promise, Tommy's father said. As soon as he got home early in the morning, Tommy's dad woke him up. You have a baby sister, Tommy. <laughs> when can I see the baby? When can I see mom? Are they coming home tomorrow? Oh, slow down, Tommy, his dad told him. They have to stay at the hospital for a few days at least. On Sunday, his dad went to the hospital to get his mother and his baby sister. Everyone else waited at the house. Nana Fall River and Nana, his Irish grandmother, his grandfather Tom, Uncle Charles and his girlfriend Viva, Aunt Nell, Buddy, and Tootsie. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy heard the car pull into the driveway. The door opened, and there was his mother holding a small bundle in her arms. Tommy hid behind the big armchair as everybody crowded around his mom and the new baby. Oh. Where's Tommy? His mother asked. Here I am, Tommy oh. shouted, jumping up from behind the armchair. Here I am. <laughs> his mother kissed him. Then Nana Fall River said, Firenze, Florence, let Nana have the baby. My friend, Nana Fall River said, turning to Tommy, sit down so you can hold your new sister. Tommy sat in the big armchair, and Nana placed the warm bundle in his arms and folded back the blanket. Tommy's baby sister, Maureen, with a red ribbon in her hair, looked up at him. And Tommy was the happiest boy in the world. The end. Oh, <laughs> Thanks for reading your book to us, Tommy. Good story. Oh, it was. <laughs> I like the part where you got to hold your baby sister the day she came home from the hospital. Yeah. Uh, was your little sister really that special to you? She sure was, BJ. In fact, she's still my best friend in the world. Oh. Oh. Here's a picture of the two of us. <gasps> wow. I was about your age, BJ, and Maureen was about your age, baby Bob. Oh, she's giving you a big hug. <laughs> And I still give him lots of hugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello there, Maureen. Hey, everybody, this is Tommy's little sister, Maureen. But she's all grown up now. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you see, BJ, Baby Bob, brothers and sisters are more than just members of the same family. They can be friends for life. That's right, Barney. <laughs> it's great to do things with a big brother, like riding bikes, or feeding the birds, or taking walks. In fact, we're going to spend the afternoon in the park together. So, goodbye, everybody. Really great to see you. Bye. 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 Bye.